Do you know that our pets, they're polluted with chemicals. They have far more amount of toxins found in their blood and urine than we do. And in fact, one new recent study found one really serious concerning chemical, Roundup, the name of the drug glyphosate, in extremely high levels in our dog and cat's urine. We've got household chemical sprays. We have flame retardant materials. We have toxic cleaners, and especially that toxic herbicide that's being sprayed on our lawns. I'm gonna show you all the details in this video, exactly what you can do to prevent this from happening with your dog or cat. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you a pet-friendly DIY home spray cleaner and a pet-friendly all-natural DIY weed killer. <laughs> Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. The first study was published in 2008 by the Environmental Working Group. I need to thank Rowdy Habib and Count Dr. Karen Becker for bringing this to my attention. They tested 70 common industrial chemicals and our dogs and cats, they were contaminated with 48 of those. Our pets showed 23 times more fire retardant chemicals in their blood and urine than is found in people. And these chemicals, they're linked to cancer. Over five times the amount of mercury, over two times more the Teflon type chemicals, also linked to cancer. And that was a study that was published 17 years ago. So in that time, we produced far more toxic chemicals. We're exposing our pets to so much more. Fast forward over 10 years, in 2019, there was a study specifically focusing on the toxin Roundup, glyphosate, and they're measuring if they could find measurable amounts in the urine of dogs and cats. Roundup, it's the world's most popular non-selective herbicide, meaning you can spray it on stuff and it kills pretty much everything. And it's used worldwide. We're talking well over 10 million tons of this stuff is sprayed around the world. It's sprayed on our lawns. It's sprayed in big parts of our food supply. We've developed Roundup ready foods and some of these same crops have been sprayed with Roundup. They're making it in the food supply. Some of it we're eating and a bunch of it are dogs and cats. They're also eating. It's even sprayed in the forest. So this Roundup, it gets, it leaches into the soil, gets into the water supply. Small amounts can be trace amounts are found in some of the foods that potentially we're consuming, especially the genetically modified Roundup ready foods. And some of it, there's just direct contamination. It's being sprayed on the lawns, they're spraying on the soccer fields. Your dogs and cats are walking outside, they're walking that stuff. And what do your pets do after they come inside? They groom themselves. The 2019 study found the cats, they had twice the amount of a detectable roundup in their urine as opposed to dogs. Why? Because they're such thorough groomers. You know, Cassie would walk outside in the lawn. He doesn't because he's an indoor cat, but he was an outdoor cat. He come inside and what's the first thing he does? He's going to groom all his paws. So you can just imagine he's out walking in that lawn. Just maybe I don't have control over every neighbor. There's a neighbor who has not a single dandelion in sight. Probably there's some Roundup sprayed on that lawn. He grooms his paws. He's going to concentrate that Roundup in his body and it's going to be found or detectable in his urine. It's been linked to kidney disease. It's been linked to fetal loss. In 2017, an international agency, they labeled Roundup glyphosate a probable human carcinogen. So when we're seeing these skyrocketing cases of cancer, especially in our dogs, you know, whereas almost one in two dogs are gonna develop some type of cancer in their lifetime, you really start to go back to think like, what could be causing this, right? And then when you see a link where you've got this serious chemical toxic exposure, and now we're detecting Roundup, in our dog and cat's urine, it's been labeled as a probable human carcinogen. Like, how can we not make that link? In fact, there are now many credible scientists saying they believe that the increasing rates of cancer, especially found in our dogs, is probably linked to increased chemical exposure. Our cats, we're also seeing increasing rates of cancer in our cats and other diseases that just weren't really around 30 or 40 years ago, right? So many cats developing hyperthyroidism. It's now thought by many of the scientists there's a correlation there in chemical exposure. No, I don't want to be all doom and gloom. There are things you can do to potentially help your dog or cat. So number one, just minimizing the chemicals your pets are being exposed to. You can make your own DIY home-friendly pet cleaner. 
right? So instead of buying the toxic cleaner, you're gonna use one that is pet friendly. I'm gonna show you one right after this segment of the video. Number two, you need you feel the need, you're gonna kill weeds outside in your lawn, for instance. You don't need to go buy that Roundup. I'm gonna show you an all natural weed killer or else you can just manually pull them out. So you wanna deal with critters like pests, herbicides, you do something like diatomaceous earth topically. You don't need to be using that toxic ant killer. And you're just gonna avoid things like have fire retardant chemicals in them, right? Just ensuring if you're gonna get your dog a dog bed, you're gonna have your cat hanging out on the couch, that it is a couch that's free of these stain proof fire retardant chemicals. And you have access to that, you can get all that stuff. We're starting out with water, one cup. Number two, white vinegar, also known as acetic acid. It's a great natural antibacterial, a great natural antiviral. It's gonna do a really great job at killing the microbes that we want it to kill within your house. And it's pet friendly. And that's the main part of our recipe. We're putting in one half a cup. And number three, this is the all natural Castile soap. So it's an oil-based soap, primarily coconut oil. It does a great job of lathering. And that's gonna help remove the dirt and the debris. And then the acetic acid, the vinegar can kill the bacteria that we want it to kill. So you need to have some soap, get Castile soap. Once again, it's natural and it's also pet friendly. We're only putting in one teaspoon. One teaspoon of the Castile soap. And this is the concentrated soap. The Castile soap and the vinegar it turns the mixture all kind of whitish, completely normal. Last but not least, I'm gonna use an essential oil. This is lavender essential oil. Well, number one, it's gonna make our cleaner smell a lot better. Number two, it's got some great antibacterial, some antiviral properties, but we're using it very diluted because we're putting only in 10 drops in about a cup and a half of fluid, right? It's so, so dilute, it's very safe for our dogs and our cats, safely used as a cleaner. So I'm putting in 10 drops of lavender essential oil Pour this into your spray bottle. I'm using a recycled one, one that had another spray in it. But I wanna make our home spray and try it out. So it goes into the bottle like it should. Your pet friendly DIY, all natural home spray cleaner. It actually smells pretty good. It doesn't smell super vinegary, which is really nice. Try it out. Next, I want to show you an all natural weed killer that is safe for our dogs, safe for our cats. So if they walk in the lawn, groom themselves and they won't harm themselves. Number one, we have the white vinegar, the acetic acid. This is provide the acid component and that's what's going to kill the weeds. One cup of vinegar. Number two, we're using salt. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna act as a desiccant and it's gonna draw moisture from the leaves of those weeds that we wanna kill. Also speeding and aiding and killing them. We're gonna put in one quarter of a cup, which equates to four tablespoons. So four tablespoons of salt going into our one cup of vinegar. It's a salty vinegary mixture, do not drink it. Then number three, we're adding in soap. I'm gonna use the Castile soap. It can be another liquid dish soap. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure that this is gonna coat and make sure that the vinegar or the salt, it adheres or sticks to the leaves. And the soap is gonna help do exactly that. So you don't need to use Castile soap. You can just use Dawn or something else. Um, but that's what I have. So I'm gonna put in one tablespoon. You can then pour this into a spray bottle And now we have your all natural weed spray killer, which is safe for our dogs and cats. So they can walk in the lawn and they can groom themselves. It will not harm them, completely safe. You can kill the weeds and you're not exposing your dog or cat to carcinogens they should not be exposed to. Thanks so much for watching this edition of NRE Secrets of the toxic chemicals affecting our pets. In particular, you being aware of Roundup. Then most importantly, some of the things you can do to help your pets at home. Number one, using you know, the pet friendly home cleaner. Number two, if you're gonna kill weeds in your lawn, using an all natural like, weed killer, which is not Roundup, which is safe for our pets. And if you like what I say, you wanna learn more, click up there to subscribe. 
hit the bell to sign up for notifications and when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.